All right, so um, today we're going to do uh, some more things with uh, drawing and really how to, I guess it'll be kind of dealing with style um, because a part of uh, drawing and when you're doing art is to develop a style and um, and even if even if you're not trying to develop your own style, it's still nice to be able to, well, a style, I'll just say this, whether you try or not, a style will simply develop um, your, which is simply your way to draw and paint, um, which is uniquely you. And it's not um, no one else, like there, there's just, unless you're specifically copying, but the hope is that you guys will you know, be able to come to a place where you're not just copying things and where you can really you know, do stuff from your, just from your heart and that it's able to come out. But that's, that's a process of de uh, developing that just, I believe that just continues to develop um, throughout your whole life. And, uh, and you have to just let it, uh, let it develop. So, um, but we can be very intentional about giving it some direction, I'll say that. So we can direct direct it and refine it, enhance it, and really thus improve um, what we're doing. So, but um, what I'm going to do today again is um, really go over, um, I guess it really comes down to uh, drawing and, um, another way of looking looking at, at drawing and how to do this. So let me switch over to my other screen here. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna work with uh, this horse as a reference. So uh, for most of you, you guys will recognize these words because I keep bringing them up and it's about simplifying Okay, so when we draw, when we style, we're always in this process of we simplify things, which means we, um, we reduce it. Um, so we, how do I say it? We reduce to um, the main, uh, I'll use the word elements. So in a drawing, we reduce it to the main elements, okay? And then the other thing that we are always doing is uh, exaggerate. And I probably spelt it wrong again. Um, so we exaggerate something is then we, um, how shall I say, I'll say we enhance, I think that's a good word to use, we enhance those main elements, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Let me back my screen away there so you can see it again. Okay, so any type of drawing I believe is we are always doing this um, at some degree, even, even if we're drawing realistically, okay? And your style will simply be a style will develop, which will either be, um, you'll do more simplification, or you might do more exaggeration, or you might do an equal amount of both. Okay. Um, but anyways, so you just uh, uh, let it happen. And your style, the way you just is you take hold of the things that you, um, that you really like. Um, the aspects, the parts of drawing that just really, oh, it's just, oh, it's so much fun. I just enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing it that way. Um, those are the things you, you, you'll just sort of grab, it's like a magnet. They'll just attract and you'll grab hold of those. And out of that will will develop your style. But it still does, that doesn't mean that, <laughs> that you never have to do something you don't enjoy. Um, it still is, there's a lot of hard work involved um, to it, okay? 
So um, that's just a reality. That's the reality of everything. That's not just art. Um, everything is like that. So, but we'll start with um, simplifying here. So we're gonna take this horse drawing and we're gonna simplify this down to its main elements. And we can uh, really, so what, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll first look and see and pick out, help you guys um, figure out what are the main elements of this. And then, um, you know, you guys can follow along uh, just even sort of drawing these and don't worry about perfection. We never worry about perfection um, because none of us is perfect. Uh, we just simply try to grow and we just always, like I say, it's a process. So um, when we worry about perfection, we simply stop and that's not, uh, we'll just, or we'll quit. And we don't want to quit. Stopping is okay, but quitting, we want to try to avoid quitting. All right, so um, any sort of animal include or animal or human, we really uh, reduce it down to your main elements are, it's gonna be different, but you know, there's the head, uh, the neck, the body and the legs or if it's you know arms arms and legs and then um if again if you're talking about animals if if it's part of it you know if it depending on how important it is the tail is also um that and then these each of these might break down into smaller bits okay um we might need to some you know sort of what are the main elements of a head uh last time we looked at uh, the human head we sort of said the main one there's like the circle and then there's the bottom part that comes off you know however you do that the chin and then it creates an egg so we we can reduce it into either one or two shapes so that's what we were doing uh last week so uh we can start we'll start with the body first and this is Pretty common. I don't know if, is my line showing up? Hopefully, I'll try and press nice and hard. The body of a, of, if we just take this horse and we see, we can reduce it down to, it's like a bean, kind of like a bean shape. See that? Um, and a lot, many animals are, are like that. Just this sort of bean shape. In fact, even, um, even the human, bodies is a variation of that but but um so if we just sort of you know reduce it down to that sort of thing okay just think of this bean shape and don't even worry too much about you know getting that so exact any but if you just sort of remember you know anytime i draw a horse i just need to make sure that it's a bean shape which is an oval that bends right just make sure it bends um, it bends like this, okay? Because this this is pretty important, okay? That there, and then it's, it sways there. So we we see that the neck. Uh, we'll move on to the neck, and we'll go to the legs last. The neck really comes down to um, a kind of triangle shape, doesn't it? Uh, so we can we can reduce it just to. And oh yeah, the shapes overlap very often you overlap you want to overlap it just like we did here so you can overlap our shape so this is just you know it's kind of a rounded triangle isn't it um okay so, so we have that sort of rounded triangle and then here the head once again we have another sort of rounded triangle again right Um, but I think in this case, there's an important part here that we might want to think about as well. You might see as important. So we might want to actually add, there is this, kind of this a sphere there, a circle, okay? And again, so this is where your style will develop. It was what do you feel is a main element? Because we may disagree. You might... Um, 
So what you include and what you take away is how your style develops and what you do with it. So it's not a right or wrong. Uh, you could draw a horse and totally ignore that part there. Um, and you could still end up with, you know, might be a cool looking horse. Someone else might say, oh, this really stands out to me, the chin. So they might think I'm going to stick another circle there. Okay. Um, so again, so you sort of decide. And then of course the ears are again, just, just triangles again, aren't they? Okay. Um, the legs now, um, we break them down for me. Whenever I think about the legs, I always think about the, the joints are pretty important, you know, so we can think about those joints and I would just sort of say to me, they just, I think you can just reduce those all to circles. And we're just thinking about things as, as circles. So this is, this is where, you know, study, uh, an artist really has to study and, you know, and, and do research and um, whether, you know, if you're going to draw people, you know, if, if you want to, you know, increase um, the look of them. And then we have the legs could be, it's, you can, they're kind of triangle, aren't they? At least the top part here is, but it's very slight. So you, one artist might decide, you know, that's so slight there, I'm going to just ignore it and I'm going to make the top of the leg just a rectangle. And another artist may say, no, I think I like, I think that's important. That seems, that feels important to me, the fact that it gets wider. So then they are going to draw it like this. Okay. So you'll, hopefully you're catching on that. I'm keep pointing out this idea that you get to choose, you get to make your own decisions. It's not a right or wrong. And then of course, you know, the one we, we can't see, but it, the back one's doing the same thing. Uh, to me, this looks like these are just rectangles, just rectangles. Again, skinny rectangles, skinny long rectangles. The proportions um, are important, but you get to change those. That's the fun that comes later. Okay, uh, the legs, or sorry, the feet, the hooves, you know, this is, that's quite a triangle, isn't it? Um, you decide, does it, should it be chopped off that corner? You know, do we do something like that? And then I suppose this is another rectangle again. Um, or do you just make all of this a rectangle? Okay. How, how does it stand out in your mind when you look at it? How, how do you see it? Okay. Um, and then once again, we have rectangles. And then this, you, you know, how, what do we do here? So there's different ways we could interpret this shape you know, we might look at that as a big rectangle. Um, so it's kind of like over here, you know, this part might stand out as really important to one person and another person might say, no, I don't think so. No, that doesn't, that doesn't stand out to me. Uh, so, you know, so does this curve stand out to you? in your mind, when you look at, at this picture of this horse, um, of what this, you know, what makes it look like a horse, then you might decide, uh, you know, and I've seen a lot of artists do this, that they say, no, it looks like I notice a big circle there. It just feels like a big circle. And then here's a much smaller triangle. And so this triangle is the same as that one similar, you know, but that's how another artist might see it. Okay. Really try to notice. So when you look at things, this is a big, I always think this is such an important word, notice. Notice. 
so that that's how we look at things it's we we notice them reminds me of whenever jesus always said um uh was how's he how did he always say it if you have ears to hear him who has ears to hear let him hear or eyes eyes to see or somehow there's you know it says though they see they or how does it, they have eyes but cannot see i always think that's it's it's when we're looking or maybe see something but we don't notice things you know it's kind of like jesus parables you have to notice things in his parables um in his stories so it's it's really the same same with art what do you notice so so try to when you when you look at something um look at it with the idea of noticing it okay um every animal has a very particular type of tail uh it's really cool um and uh yeah i just always think it's so how god gave every animal a different type of tail um yeah it's just you know a cow's tail is so different from a horse's tail um and yet they kind of live in the same sort of area but yeah it's just it's just so fun you know and then you have even um if you think of cats even a tiger and a lion have a different sort of tail um yeah so cool um i don't know how how do we this tail just really seems to need curves to me when i look at it it just feels like it has to curve every time i see a horse's tail it just has to curve it has to that's in my mind it has to someone else's mind maybe it doesn't have to um you know someone else may think no it doesn't have to do that at all i i could make that tail like this and i've seen people draw horses uh you know and they they the tail does do that okay uh, so th so that's fine you can totally see the tail as just this this triangle okay so um how, how do you notice it okay it's totally um totally fine all right so what i want to do now is uh, the next thing that we'll do is we'll actually now go ahead and redraw this horse um following all these reduced um uh, shapes so we'll draw it on on another page but this time we're not going to trace it like like now we'll just do it out of right, don't move, don't move, don't move that i'm still drawing in my circles okay <laughs> not my circles my some of my some of my shapes okay very good sharon because i was just about to ask before i do that does anyone have any questions or where are you guys at i don't want to rush ahead um so um oh i see we have another um gentleman has joined us here a few other people have joined us that's exciting to see so um i have a question yes go ahead baby yeah so if you are drawing do you have to start with the, with the, with the head or just start with the bo with the body oh very good question very good question um I now different artists will tell you different things um, mm -hmm. because different artists like to um, it, it's just what what stands out to them. I will often um, will often start with the body first. OK, um, mm -hmm. when I was young, I always started with the head when I was a child, when I would do my drawings, I would always start with the head because the head just always stood out to me. But the reason, the only reason why I tend to start with the body now is, um, let me go back to my screen there, um, is simply because the body takes up a big space. Um, that's one reason. And so what I would find is if I start with the head, let's say, if, let's let's pretend I want to draw the whole horse. Here, I'll get a new paper. If I want to draw the whole horse, and if I just start like this, and I'm over here, and I say, okay, I'm gonna 
draw the head and here's my, you know, here's my rectangle. Here's my circles. Oops. So here's my shapes. And here's my, now I'm gonna do the neck and it's a shape like this. And then I realized, oh no, I, <laughs> I don't have room for the body. Um, now that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I've worked with so many students where this happens. They come to the edge of the paper and um, then they'll say, oh, I have to somehow squeeze the body in here. And then we, you can see what happens. <laughs> Although it looks kind of fun and funny. Yes. <laughs> now someone may really like that horse. They might think that horse is a lot of fun because he looks so silly, right? You know, we all, uh, it depends on, on what we enjoy. So, so Betty, I would suggest, um, my, my, my advice would be to start with the body. Uh, but if you, er, if you come to a place where you just sort of think, no, I, I, I want to do the, the head first, that's, you know, you just have to be aware of that. Okay. So that's a good question. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Also, I should say this also, um, another reason why many artists start with the body, because that's, where the center of the movement happens. Um, when we move, sure, it's our brain telling us, but it's the muscles that move the head, you know, are part of the body. The muscles that move my arm are connected to the body. So everything kind of comes out from the body. The, you know, if I'm gonna run um, or jump, the shape of my body, will, the body will move sort of first. And so, and it's the same with an animal or something like that. So, um, so that's another reason why someone might start with the body. So thank you for asking that. That's, that's really good um, for me to clarify that. So. Thank you. How are you doing, Sharon? Come in. <laughs> You're ready to move on. And um, yeah, just for any of you, you don't need to worry, you know. Um, yeah, I don't want to move ahead too fast, but also some people might be, um, you know, waiting. But also if you want to go ahead, you know, those of you who are waiting, you can always go ahead, uh, draw and draw and draw, try your own. Um, that's wonderful, right? Like sketchbooks right like you know artists we fill sketchbooks we draw we draw you know we just we just fill the pages um things like this i it's upside down <laughs> oh look at this look where he ended up at let me sh i'll show this again this is a bit of review but this is sort of where we started from here's um an example of we took a cat and then we reduced a cat down to some main shapes and we were being sort of silly with it uh, when we did this, um, but you can see, and that's that's where we'll kind of play around with too. We'll get to that, okay? Anyway, so let me set this aside. So, all right, so let's move on now, okay? And so now we just sort of have to keep in mind what were the things we noticed about the horse. Okay, so we noticed, so we'll start with the body and we noticed that, and we'll just do it standing again. But this is the, the idea, how do I draw, you know, how do I draw a horse? Because let's say I want to make my horse um, running, okay? But let's pretend I don't have a picture of him running. Um, I only have a picture of him standing, but I want to draw him uh, running or, um, Oh, I know. Um, I let's say I want to draw him uh, bucking. You know, when they jump and kick their legs when he's jumping, because you know, I might think I have a horse standing, but what I want to express is I want to express, you know, maybe joy or maybe want to express anger or something, you know, in my painting, and that's that's what I'm feeling. So let's pretend I'm feeling that I want to express joy. 
um, in my in my piece, you know. Um, so especially, you know, for those of us uh, who, when we do art, we feel that God has given us a picture, or God has given something in our heart, um, and I want to, I want to express this somehow. Um, as an example, you know, a lot of people do art as part of their their own personal worship, right? Um, and you know, I do this, and many do, and then. Um, you know, and so you just, you have this feeling of joy, let's, let's pretend. So you have this feeling of joy inside and you want to be able to um, express that because that's, that's like, that's worship, right? So God has given you joy and you want to um, express that. Um, but, you know, if you're like me, uh, you don't sing well, uh, or you aren't one to sing out loud so you know I don't play any instruments um so how do I do this so let's say I want to express joy and I decide I want to use a horse in my worship and I'm going to express my joy through a horse okay um but I'm in a time of worship so I would think huh, I don't really want to I don't want to go on google image and start looking up pictures of horses uh, joyful horses to copy because it's just it's going to ruin my whole moment of worship um i'm just using this all as, as an example hopefully this will make sense um and so i think okay so i'm not going to look at pictures but i've already paid attention to horses and i've noticed some things and but i want to i still want to express joy so i think well joy is moving you know i want to express you know this movement and so um diagonals if i want to make something move then i put it on a diagonal so um but so i think okay so i'll start with the body the body so the body on an angle not straight across anymore because this this horse is jumping so and so i remember okay what did i notice i noticed that it's like a bean So here's my bean shape, okay? And so I'm still going off of this feeling of what do I want to express? What, and again, I'm, because I also don't dance. I'm not, I don't have a gift for dancing. I'm not one to jump around, but I can still imagine it. And so for me, I believe God has given me the, the gift of, if I'm not gonna jump and throw my head back, but I can do it through a picture. So I'm gonna, you know, I can make my horse put its head, throw its head back. Uh, why not? Uh, so I can, you know, so what did I notice about the horse's neck? Well, it was kind of like a triangle, we said. So I can stick a triangle and I'm going to throw it back. So it's now going way up here. And then there was another um, triangle for the head was another triangle. And it's also going way up like this. And... I, I kind of like that circle there. And then there were the ears, you know, and I think, well, if joyful praise, I want the ears. I just, you know, I decided I want the ears big. Why not? And they're, they're, you're, the ears are pointing up. Um, and the eye is looking up. Okay, so this is just, just an example again. Um, and the arms and you know the the legs are throwing the legs up. Well, what did I notice about the legs? They um, they're kind of like triangles, we said. And then there were circles. And then if I you know maybe put this up like this. And then there was another circle, and then there was like a triangle. No, oh, that's right. And then there was like the, you know, I can open up the mouth. Open the mouth wide. You know, so I might just be doing this sort of uh, quickly. And, and then there's like another leg
you know, and I'm just using, again, I'm just using the example of, of, of worship. Uh, it could be for a story. Maybe I want to tell a story or I want to make a story for, for children and I'm, I'm doing these things. Um, so, uh, and then I'm going to do the, the, the back legs and then we'll make him look like he's, he's dancing. This horse is dancing. Um, so we're going to, again, notice my angles. Diagonals always show movement. So I really want my horse to be moving. So I want to make sure I don't have things straight up and down. Um, so what did I say? It was a triangle again, coming back this way. And then it was another one. And then there was another circle, if I remember. And then that was a triangle. And then another one. And then another one. And then we'll just do a triangle for the tail. So we've got this funny looking horse. And so this is just sort of how he started. Um, and uh, now for me, because I've been drawing for a long time, I don't, I can actually often just imagine these sort of things. I don't even have to draw them. Um, but anyways, so once we have this, now we can, you know, uh, I should maybe switch to a different color or something like this so you can see. So now I, you know, so let's say here's, here's my drawing now. Rick, the yeah. back leg is like going the wrong direction, bending the wrong direction. <laughs> yep. And I was gonna get to, I'm going to get to that. So um, first I was, I was just going to finish this. So uh, yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so now I sort of, you know, and Again, I can change this if I want. And then I remember, again, they, there's overlap. So this is sort of things that we do. And then this leg is behind. And so, now it's kind of hard I had to show you this, if there was a way that I could, um, I suppose maybe what I should have done was use like tracing paper where I could have traced over it. Maybe that would be uh, better to see. I'm gonna do that real quick so we can see so now I can switch to black so you can see it well, okay? Yeah, and I'm gonna mention, like Teresa said, there's the thing about my, so now I'm just tracing around this Oops, I forgot that part sticking out there. There's that circle. Um, yes. I understand what you mean about the movement. Um, I don't remember the name. The person said that the legs were in yes. the opposite direction, but there's a book called Giraffe Can't Dance. And the book is about a giraffe who wanted to dance with the other jungle animals, but couldn't. And so this reminds me of some of the portrayals in the book as the giraffe found his own unique place and, and where to dance. It's a very popular children's book, Giraffe Can't Dance. It's a really lovely book. Yeah. And that's, yeah, so thank you. So this is the thing that I was going to, 
to bring out is um, when we change it, uh, things. So when we make these changes and we move things around, uh, this is something that it helps to, again, what have we noticed about horses? Okay. So something that Teresa noticed either from the drawing or probably maybe just from horses before, um, and especially now someone, you know, who works with horses and really knows horses would have noticed this immediately is the, um, the, the legs bending the wrong way. Okay. So that's where, again, as an artist, you, and this is what I want you to, to know, you have that freedom to make any choices you want that you can break away from reality if it helps your picture. Um, the, cause if you notice, for example, um, I, it happened here as well. I don't know if you guys even noticed this, but this leg is also bent the wrong way. For those who know horses, that leg can't bend that way. It would be broken. However, it looks okay um, in this drawing, okay? And in fact, this even, it's, it's sort of funny because in my drawing, this is the leg that looks like it's bent the right way, but it's the one that's bent the wrong way. But if I cover this up, so this is just an example of if I, let me cover this up here. In my drawing, this actually doesn't, at least in my eyes, and I know, I know enough about horses to know that there are two mistakes. This leg and this leg are actually broken. They can't bend that way. But the idea of what I feel being expressed of a horse that's reaching up looking up and he's reaching, that is what is being expressed in my picture. So we, I almost like this and to the point where if I were to do this, this is the leg which is actually bent correctly. This is the one that's anatomically correct. Yet that's the one I feel needs to be changed. So, um, cause if we look at horses, this is how it bends, it goes back and then forward. And then if this one were to bend, if you take a look at another picture of a horse, it bends in this direction, okay? So this is where, again, you, um, you have that freedom to, to decide. It's not about right or wrong. It's about what are you being expressed? Or sorry, what are you expressing? Are you getting across what is inside? Is it happening on your paper? Okay. And that's some of the magic and that's some of the beauty of art that you, you can do that, that sort of thing. Okay. So um, anyway, so yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Teresa. <laughs> and it is interesting how, how um, for, you know, again, everyone is different. Someone will notice this right away and another person um, may not. Um, because it doesn't stand out. Again, we notice. Well, because I read a lot of children's books, for me, that <laughs> is this. <laughs> yeah. That's so now I would, I would, now I really want to look up this book. So I might try and find this book because I'd be interested to see what that artist did it's, with this. It's on YouTube. Yeah. It's on YouTube. It's a very good book. The animation of it is on YouTube. Giraffes can dance. Okay. Okay, I will look at that. Okay, on YouTube, I'll look on YouTube to see, and it'll be fun to see what the artist has has done with with that sort of thing. Okay, um, and okay, so that's that's one thing. How to make, um, you know, go ahead and make something, you know, move around, and you know, ha have fun. A lot of it is just, you know, it's it's play. We 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 play, and I think play is a huge part of worship, or whatever it is that we're doing. Um, all right, so let's take a few, let's take some time. And what I would like you guys to do is to pick, oh yeah, well just, just to make, you know, this is not just with animals. This can be with anything like a tree. You can do the same thing with a tree. Um, we take a tree and then we, um, we, we simplify, you know, 
take a tree and reduce a tree to the main elements. Exaggerate parts of the tree to enhance those main elements, okay? Um, you know, so I just think of, you know, a tree is another thing that we can really use. They're very common in our drawings. Um, let me switch to another page here, flip my page over. Hopefully that's not gonna be too distracting there. Um, yeah, so what do we have in a tree? Well, we have, first of all, the main trunk. Sorry, I don't, I don't have a picture of a tree. It just popped in my head to quickly go over this. A trunk, well, first we have two different types of trees, right? We have the um, deciduous or the coniferous, ones that are big and round and ones that are pointy like an arrow. Um, so we'll do the, the, the round kind. And so we have you know, a trunk, which we can reduce to just a, a, a rectangle. And then we can reduce the branches. That's the other part, you know, to other branches. And then we think about what do we notice? Think about what we notice about trees. Well, we notice that the branches get skinnier as we go. Every branch gets a little bit skinnier and skinnier and skinnier till finally, okay, they're just skinny. And then, you know, so it's thick and they may be uh, rectangles or they might be triangles. How do they stand out to you? Okay, so we're doing the same thing. And they keep, you know, separating, getting skinnier and skinnier. Okay, so that's just the branches and then, okay, so same, same sort of deal. If we draw our tree, you know, then it would be that. Now this is a, a dead tree, um, so on. If we have the leaves, uh, how do we reduce those? Well, we can reduce it to just a circle. Artists will do that very often. That's very common. Um, we might reduce it to a kind of a bunch of circles. Okay, and then again, here's our, our, our tree trunk. We might reduce it down to like that. And I'll see artists do things like that. Um, we might reduce it down to not circle, but we might think, no, it's this is I, this is what I notice. I notice the shape is it goes in and out, and I notice that it goes all over and it's all jiggity. So we might reduce it down to a shape like that, and then we might notice that no, the the, the trunk actually it's it's more curved lines and straight lines. So especially you know we look at a particular tree and wow, it really stands out that it curves. So we draw it. You know, it's curved, so we might reduce it down to that. Again, it's all, it's not right or wrong. It's simply, um, how do you, um, how do, you know, how do you see it? Uh, what stands out to you? Um, and the same thing with, you know, the other types of trees we can, uh, reduce, you know, we have the other pointy kind of trees where we can, you know, reduce it to something like this and then it has a, you know, just a trunk. Or we can make it something more like that where it's, you know, a tree that becomes a little more um, realistic. I have seen people draw them simply like that. Professional artists, professional artists even, okay? Because that's simply a style that they're trying or they might, you know, I've seen it done like this, you know, where they put it into separate things. I've seen it where they, it's just simply like this. Okay. Again, those are our choices you're allowed to do. Let me, a study I, I was doing just for fun once was trying, if I can find it here. Here we go. A whole bunch of different types of trees done in different sort of 
styles, just, just playing. Okay. Hold that a little bit closer there. Okay. And then you'll see that I change it. Some things, you know, we're not, we don't really find trees that have checkers, checkered patterns on them, but why not? Just like I was allowed to change the legs of the horse, bend them in a different way. Um, you're allowed to, or turn it into a whole lot of circles or turn it into um, whatever we call it. Looks like fish scale type shapes, you know, um, or like this, like, like those are things that, you know, you're allowed to do. What you have to keep in mind is um, what we try to do is um, we try to capture, and I've used this word before, some of you will recognize this word. Um, I'll put it over here with this one to we simplify, we exaggerate, to not capture. I'm not, capture sounds too violent. <laughs> I don't like that word. To express the essence, okay? The essence, the essence is like the heart. Is that a good way? What's a, what's a good word, another word to use? Uh, like the essence or the, the character um, okay. Uh, you know, in this drawing, I was trying to capture the essence of joy or the character of joy. Okay. And I was simply using a horse. But I was that's what I was trying to do was was the the essence of it. So um, here is my thought is to I, I can I can show you something. Yeah, sure. All right, let me see if it you want to share your screen? Yeah. How do I do that? I think I have to let do something to let you share it or what or not. Or can you just do it? Um, right. This is this is the cover of the book. Well, this is what's on YouTube. One of the many. So this is the action here of the giraffe. The top and the and the bottom. The middle doesn't quite show you, but the cover of the book is the one at the top and the and the bottom. Yeah. See. So this you can is see the movement of the fine. giraffe. Yes, exactly. That's such a great example. Such a great example, Sharon. Yeah. Um, you know, because their giraffes are doing, this giraffe is doing something impossible that giraffes really cannot do. Um, but if you were to, it, he still has um, all the things that are also, the, some things that are the essence of a giraffe still that are, are still in there. Yeah. Cool. Great. That's excellent. Thank you. So, all right. Um, so here's the thought. Let me write this down to, um, we'll, we'll spend some time. So to choose um, a th something, an animal or a plant or an object, okay, whatever, um, you, and you can, you know, you can stick with a horse. We've been doing horse, so if, if you're more comfortable thinking, okay, I'm just going to go with, with a horse by all means, just, you know, because we already know you don't, you know, you, we've gone through the main element, so you don't have to figure that one out yourself, uh, but if you want to, you could choose something else to, to go with it, and then um, reduce it to those same elements. And then the idea is, so following the same word idea, can you express the, and you can do what you want, the character or the essence again of, um, 
you can do either that animal or um, an emotion. Okay, um, like I did, uh, you know, joy. And my encouragement is if you can to do at least, well, to just keep doing them. Don't just do do one, try, try many and try different types of things. Um, you know, um, joy, you know, how would you do it different if it was sadness? I think I spelled sadness wrong. <laughs> uh, joy or sadness. Um, or, you know, these are usually the three main ones, right? Happy, sad, and angry. Um, you know, um, or uh, that's another one, or, you know, peaceful. That's, that's, that would be interesting. Something that to see how would you express, what would it look like? How different would it look if it was joy or if it was peace? Okay. Um, what would you do differently? Um, all right. And then, uh, so, you know, so we're not worrying about making them, them look realistic. We're trying to just um, capture those things. So feel free to, you know, use Google image or something like that. Or if you have a book or another picture, or if you have an, just an object there, you know, in the room with you. You can do that, or you can just do a person, you know, you can do something just, just, we, we know enough about people, right? You can uh, re reduce people down to um, same sort of, really the same sort of um, elements, you know, the body, upper body, lower body, um, the neck, the head, you know, and then you have the shoulders, the elbows, you know, you can, you can do this, you know, the nose, the mouth, whatever. Um, you can do the same thing, same thing we did with, uh, um, with the horse, you know, if you want to make them dance. So yeah, so this is like the, it's, it's kind of like making the skeleton first, I guess you could say that's, you know, a, a way of, uh, of doing it. So, all right. And for those of you who have maybe been doing this enough where you think I can, I don't, I can skip this, this step, I don't need to um, reduce it. Um, that's, um, You know, you don't have to do that. But again, but let me say again, art is about expressing the character in the essence. Art is not about having to copy what it looks like. Okay. Um, so again, I really encourage you. And if I was allowed to force you, <laughs> then, I, then I, I wouldn't even go that far to say, don't draw what it looks like, well, I can, I, I'll write that down. Now, this is for those of you, it's interesting. Some of you might be thinking, but I thought when we started way back when you said, don't draw what something it, don't, not what you know about it, but how you see it. We're now, that's where we started and now we're going from there. So now we, I'm telling you, don't draw what it, looks like draw what it is i would actually you know draw how about this draw what it is inside that might maybe that maybe that's too confusing if i say that i don't know um that that might be just a a bit a bit confusing Okay. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't sound like it just contradicted myself for those of you who've been, you know, where you've been in the class for 
a few few months now. But anyway, all right, I will stop talking and let's go ahead and everyone work, but first, or uh, yeah, go ahead and work. But in the meantime, also, if does anyone have any questions about anything, feel free to ask if you're like kind of need a little bit of um, direction or a little more clarity on what to do. No, but I have to go now, so I'll okay. see you next week, depending on how it works out. Okay. Thanks again, All right. Karen. And thanks, and thanks, yeah, you. thanks for sharing that with us. That was really good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. We'll see you. All right, bye-bye. Okay. All right, so. Yeah, so Betty, I don't know, I've, I kind of forgot to tell you about having, I don't know if you, you know, brought paper with you to there. Do you have any, any sort of paper to work on or anything like this? Hope, hopefully that you have some. And I see you trying to think. Just trying to think who we have uh, with. So um, I see we have, um, if this is okay, uh, another student, Hama Yesu Prosper. It's, uh, good to meet you. I don't know if your uh, camera works on your phone or your computer, or whatever you're using. Um, I trust that you can hear me anyway. Uh, so it's good to meet you. Hopefully you're able to follow some of this. And then I see Rebecca, but Rebecca, I think this looks like a different Rebecca than, uh, yeah. So, oh, okay. So, okay, so that's Rebecca. And then Galaxy S10, I don't know who that is. That's, uh, there's that someone had using two screens. I that's me. Who's that? It's, it's Heidi Marie. Oh, Heidi Marie. <laughs> yeah, that's sorry. Cool. I'm, uh, I'm just drawing today without a camera so that's I can fine. focus. It's been a while, but I'm doing all right. I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> that's fine. You know, that, that's okay. I'm just always curious. I just like to know who's here. So it's good to see you. <laughs> well, I guess I can't see you, but it's good to hear you. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> and I see Katie made it. Good to see you, Katie. Glad you were able to make it. So I just need to mute. So yeah, we don't need to keep the recording this part too. So I'll turn the camera, turn it off here. And then we'll end it there. So uh, anyway, thank you guys for showing yours. Uh, sorry, I didn't include that in the recorded video. So um, yeah, so again, I took our horse and I just I just played around with it. so I, I really like to try and push it um, and really try to break away uh, as far away as I can to to the point where I find it doesn't work anymore even um, and sometimes it does so you know I reducing you know this one well this one I kind of made them extra fat so I changed you know, I, I changed that bean shape and made it a little extra fat and make the legs skinny. Um, this is now curved. It's hardly even a triangle shape anymore. Um, I made the horse looking at, you know, so this is now a big circle and, uh, you know, so I'm trying things like that. And now I try this other big majestic sort of strong war horse type thing. So the, the chest is really, you know, big with smaller hips and, um, but I really think that, um, you know, look at this. So I've got the, you know, throwing his head back is sticking his chest out. But I think the head got way too big. And then, you know, I tried to th try thickening up the legs. What does that do? Does it work? Uh, you know, 
I, I really don't think that works at all. So I tried another way, what if I shorten it? But now it looks like a dog. <laughs> so this also doesn't work. Um, anyway, um, but this is what I would keep doing, you know? Um, and as a child, I did, I would just keep doing stuff like this over and over and over and over and over because, you know, but anyway, so I didn't want to, I wanted to more explore just to kind of really show you guys, you know, um, this is so far off. It's not even a bean shape anymore. I got rid of this, the joints, just these straight legs. He barely looks like a horse. Um, I think a child would maybe, as an adult, most of us would say, well, would, I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know. I, I have a feeling a child would know it's a horse, but I like it. <laughs> it's so bad, but I like it. There's something about this that I like, and I don't know, maybe just, it takes me back. I don't know. Um, so, it's so kindergarten look ish looking or childlike looking, but um, for some reason, and I've just broke all the rules. That's not a triangle. That's not a triangle. Um, but but you do you push yourself to and you know and then you come back. So let's say if I was working towards an actual painting or drawing for something for a book or whatever, I would try things like this and I would push it and then I'd be like, no, I think it does need to have more of that triangle shape. I need to bring that back and. You know, I better get better get a little bit of bean shape back in there, you know, and I would keep developing it and trying different things, you know. Uh, I tried this, you know, what if I just totally distort the proportions? It barely looks like, a, I don't know if it looks, even looks like a horse, you know. Um, here I brought it back. Now here's this, you know, guy jumping, giving a bit of the expression, but everything's up. And then this guy's cowering, right? So now, now I bent my bean shape the other way. You know, now my bean shape bends this way. The neck is upside down. The bean, is, in fact, that hole, that's totally upside down if you actually see that. Um, the legs are bent all wrong, you know, but he's crouching and cowering, you know, you know, and he's actually taking on the, the uh, more the look of a dog that's been beaten. So, uh, but anyways, but this is, um, you know, the, the sort of thing that you, you know, you, you can try and you just have that freedom to push and to venture into those new, new areas um, that are your own. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, glad that a uh, number of you guys had fun doing this, uh, playing with it. Um, if nothing else, hopefully it just, you know, again, gave you the freedom to know you, you, we look at the rules, we, we notice, you know, it's about noticing things and then it's about, yeah, remembering those things and then changing, altering, doing whatever. So, all right. Thank you, everyone. I can stop.